What's happening, everybody? Y'all know what time it is. Yep. It's my long time, eh? And today, we are looking at the okra container that we did, or shall I say, that we worked on April the 1st. We actually uprooted or pulled out the old okra plants that was in here. It was actually four, one, two, three, four, somewhere in that vicinity. Anyway, I'll put the video link on the descriptions of this video below, okay? But anyway, I just wanted to make this quick update video and show some proof of life for those naysayers that had something negative to say. We actually planted cucumber, butternut squash, some sugar snap peas, and also okra from an okra pod or an okra that we allowed to dry up on last season's uh, plant and planted the seeds on here. That's the actual okra plant and seeds as well as those I believe so they did sprout out we did two okra seeds each corner and uh, I don't know what's up with the maybe that's the cucumber, but I believe these are sugar snaps, right there, right there, and a few days later, or a day later, I decided to drop, drop some uh, raw burgundy bush beans in here also, just to see what's going to happen, there's another sugar snap sprout right there. So, so far, we're only waiting for the cucumber, which I believe that might be one of them right here. Not gonna rush it though. Don't let it do its thing. If you ever have this happening to you, to where the seed shell won't uh, let go, or it's having a hard time letting go you can just pick it off carefully so you don't damage the leaves that's all you do you want to get some tweezers or something that's fine just as long as you're careful uh, to get it off You want to spit on it? I saw somebody make a post telling somebody to spit on it and stuff. I don't know how you're going to get your saliva under the shell, but, you know, it'll just be spitting on the shell and it'll make it even more slippery for your fingers. Not, not the whole itself, I believe, but, hey, do your thing. If that works for you, you see what works for me. Anyway, this is just a quick update today is April the 9th these actually started sprouting up like that around April the 6th and yep for all those naysayers proof of life there it is happening I'll praise to the most high because hey I'm still new to this as a lot of folks know you know that's probably why some have something to say <laughs> but hey leave your questions down on the comments you know conversations down on the comments I'll be more than happy to respond so as I get a chance or have the time uh, I do get really busy 
but I try to stay on top of things the best I can. You know what I mean? Anyway, so this is our additional to our garden beets. Uh, decided to go ahead and pinch off all the withered leaves that I knew wasn't going to make it after transplant. So we decided to just go ahead and pinch them off and give uh, the plants a better fighting chance. All right. Hopefully this container does pretty well because I do know these okras will be pretty, pretty big. Uh, last year we did okra and beets. We did drop some sugar snap peas, but the sugar snaps did didn't sprout up. Uh, I was really hoping the cucumbers would pop out with these. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if that right there is a cucumber. You know what I mean? But that's what it looks like, y'all. We got sugar snap peas, okra, cucumber, butternut squash. You know what? That could, that might be a butternut squash. I don't know. I really doesn't know. Maybe the butternut squash is the ones missing with the cucumber. But for sure, for sure, we have okra. We love okra. We got that food dehydrator. Yup. Y'all ought to see last season's okra plant. Man. Anyway, all praise to the Most High. My beautiful people, don't forget. And always remember, you can do it too. And on that note, till next time.